Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we're going to be looking at a little RDA which has had a little bit of hype going on, a little bit of interest to it, partially because the deck design is fairly similar-ish to the skill maybe, um, but it does come in a lot cheaper. So today we're going to be looking at the Druga RDA from, uh, from Org Vape. It's an interesting little puppy. So uh, let's have a little vape first, shall we? Plenty of air going on, decent little flavour happening as well, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting RDA. Let's dive down up close and I'll take you around a tour around the Org Vape Druga. Come on then! Alrighty then, so here we are with uh, the Druga RDA and uh, packaging. Just to give you a brief idea about what we've got to look at with the packaging, let's have a little zoom in there actually, shall we? Let's do that. Right then. So uh, we've got this little sort of cylinder tub going on here. We have seen these kind of things before. Org Vape logo on the top there. This little... <laughs> I wanted to save this just because it says Instagram contest. And that might be the sort of thing that you crazy cats are interested in. But uh, that's a thing that you can win stuff there. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. But uh, yeah, every time I've opened the box, this has gone flying. And I've had to go searching around for it. It's been a right pain in the ass. Anyway, <laughs> now then, getting out of that, we do have an Allen key at the bottom. And uh, in here, in the spares, we do have... Let's have a look at these, get these open here. Um, we do have a couple of O-rings, two different size O-rings going on there. We have a Delrin drip tip, if we don't like the Alton one. We have a drip tip adapter for a 510. And we do have the uh, the squonk pin as well. And I'll tell you about my experience with squonking as we go through the review. Now that this is the RDA itself, let's have a little zoom in nice and close to this so we can see what's going on. Because uh, it is a good looking little RDA. You might be able to see in the ultimate tip there, it does say a Druga as well, which I think is quite sweet. It's just a little kind of, uh, it's just a little bit of those little finishing kind of features that these things happen. Um, this is a 24 mil RDA made of 304 stainless steel what happened to having 317 was it stainless steel but anyway 31304 stainless steel nice and plain nice and subtle going on there other than the big old logo going on on one side, it's not too bonkers at all. Underneath, you can see that it is um, designed by Vape House and Org Vape, and it does have a serial number on the bottom, which is mine is 6908. The screw there is for the negative post. Obviously, we've got the normal 510 poking through there. To remove that, nice flathead easy screwdriver coming, that one, bringing that one out, and then we use the Allen key to uh, install the squonk pin right right here so uh, yeah we can uh, we can discuss that when we go back up top but for the moment i'm going to leave that on there so i don't lose it right let's get into this rda then shall we um oh by the way this uh this 510 pin here i would like to have seen that a little bit longer with the amount of uh, hybrid mechs that are on the market now i would like to have seen that just a touch longer which could have been made happen um if they'd have reduced the length of that uh, 510 threading just by one or two threads that would have been really really quite nice in my opinion but uh yeah let's take uh, let's take this bad boy apart so we can have a little look at it two o-rings on the deck which uh, do a grand job of securing that. I've not had any leaking issues, and we've got a nice deep juice well. Now, when it does come to uh, when it does come to squonking, it would have been nice to have seen that, that positive post raised up a little bit more because uh, we have a similar thing on uh, on the pin on this one to we had on the uh, on the icon. In my opinion, it's nice to have that squonking uh, section just a little bit higher because it does mean you don't suck all your juice back in as soon as you uh, as soon as you squonk it in. Um, um, on top of that, we do have there. There is the uh, there is the sort of the Phillips head connection on the top. You can get a number of the sort of flat head screwdrivers in the top there as well. But uh, initially, you can unscrew these bad boys like so. These will come all the way off, so you can place your leads down into that hole rather than trying to get them to go through the hole. But uh, having said that. Um, you know, when you get holes that kind of size, which are real big monkeys, um, it's not really a problem. I like the idea how they've done this because this kind of reduces the chance of those sidewalls kind of getting crushed in because uh, obviously this kind of follows the shape of those uh, threaded sections above the uh, or either side of the hole there. So I do like that. Now, when it comes to the top cap on the inside here, if we take these apart, 
Um, what we've got just with the barrel is just straightforward barrel going on there. Obviously, you don't want to have this upside down. If you have these these uh, this logo facing the wrong way, then your airflow hole is going to be just a little bit further down than it should be. So uh, it does have to be the right way up. Uh, this is the top cap itself. And you'll see that we don't have the single coil option going on on here. And I imagine that's mainly because of the sparse nature of the deck and the sort of the vastness of it with a pretty decent juice well as well but uh yeah so it's dual coil or go home um but we do have a nice sort of contoured section on the inside there to help really funnel that flavor up into your mouth now in the top there it does accept um goon 510s although it does as i say come with this druga ultim tip here uh but uh, if i pop one of my dhd caps in there that fits in there absolutely fine and dandy and isn't loose or anything like that so i've been more than happy with that now then what we're going to do today is i'm going to stick just a basic uh i'm going to put a basic um uh mech build going on in here i'm going to do a parallel 24 gauge stainless steel and we'll see how this bad boy rocks out Something to be aware of, if you're going to do things like parallels and stuff, I have pre-bent the legs of my wires just to go in those holes a little bit easier. Um, it just does make the building process that bit quicker in my opinion. Alrighty, so what I've done there is I've just put this uh, parallel build in. Once again, it's not the tidiest, but it will do for today. Now then, uh, one of the things I did want to highlight, and I noticed this the very first build that I put in here. Uh, once I'd tightened these up when the wires were cold, as soon as I uh, he heated the wires up again, um, these loosened off quite considerably. And I'd, you'd ha I'd have to go back and tighten them two or three times. Now, that didn't happen the second, third, fourth time that I built it. However, um, then it would happen again so you do have to make sure that these posts are really wrenched down and uh, to do that if you've got not got a wide uh, Phillips head wide kind of flat ended Phillips head um, which if you haven't you can upset your, uh, your your Phillips holes like I've done a little bit there um, then uh, using just a flat head this is the one from the coil master kit and that seems to do a darn good job of heating that bad boy up or tightening that bad boy up should I say right I'm going to get some wicking in now eh? And what we can see there is roughly that uh, air hole is going to be around about the sort of the bottom portion of the uh, of the coil there, which is exactly what I want. Um, I have tried these and coils in a bunch of different positions, and I found this or even a little bit higher is no bad thing. Now these coils in here are a three mil, no three and a half mil ID, so you can see the amount of space you do have to play with there. I mean that's a that's a big old coil going on in there with 24 gauge wire. But on that note. Let's go up top and we'll have a vape. Okay, so that was the up close with the Druger. I've got that little parallel build rocking through here at the moment. I think that's coming through at about 0.14. I am rocking VTC 5A batteries in there, freshly charged as well. Um, and I'm not chain vaping it. But uh, no, all in all, I mean, hopefully you could have seen the uh, the slight similarities, I think, between the, the Skill RDA and this one from a deck point of view, um, as well as having kind of a, a short and stubby little Ultim tip on the top there. Obviously, you can change that out to the, 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 the sort of taller um, Delrin affair that it comes with, or you can pop your own drip tips in, or you can indeed put your uh, put your own Goon style drip or Goon drip tips on there if you want a little bit more length. Ooh, uh. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I'm going to go back to the uh, the little Ultim one. It does a perfectly fine job. But uh, I know a lot of people will say that, particularly if they've got a hot build in here, that uh, that's a little bit too short and they're going to burn their little lippy whipsy. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm going for it for today. I'm rocking it on top of uh, on top of this Geek Vape mech. And I have got the, uh, the normal floating pin section in the top rather than rocking this in hybrid mode as well. 
Now then, um, this is also designed, it's designed sort of with Mike at Vape House alongside Org Vape as well. So it's had kind of an input and I believe Mike is a, uh, is a, is a strong coil builder in the game. So uh, he knows what he needs when it comes to accessible decks and big old wick hole, uh, big old sort of deck holes and all that sort of good stuff as well. So I imagine that's why they've got their, they've, they've called it a C, CSS? Is it a uh, clamp snag system? That's what they've called it, a clamp snag system, which uh, which is interesting. Like I said, the unfortunate thing is you do have to make sure that that is tightened down as much as it goes because uh, once you've heated up your coils a little bit, it can have a tendency to uh, to get a little bit on there on the loose side. So just make sure that those are tightened down. Now then. Performance wise has been great. I mean, I had this sitting on top of the, I've had this for nearly a month now, and I had this sitting on top of the, uh, the, the, what's it called? Drone. <laughs> I had it sitting on top of the drone, and then I swapped that out, put the icon on top of it, and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, it's performed really rather well. Like I said before, with this kind of style of airflow, and with such a large open deck, whether your airflow is turbulent or smooth is going to be very, very dependent on the placement of your coils as well as how much wick you've got in there kind of what's what's getting in the way you've got to think of it as what is getting in the way of the air coming in and then going straight up into your mouth so um you know be aware of that if it's just sort of skimming over the top or if it's coming up from underneath and it has to fight to get out out uh, out through the drip tip then obviously it could be a little bit more uh, turbulent than if it's kind of got that smoother um sort of access if you like does that make sense it kind of makes sense in my head but I think that's what I'm going for anyway. So uh, today I'm using this uh, Bear e-liquid. Um, the banana, what flavour is it? Banana juice. And it's rather nice. I do like this a lot. But uh, it's also a nice kind of creamy kind of vape going on. Um, I do like the fact that you can just dump your juice straight down the uh, drip tip there because you've got a nice deep juice well there. If you get plenty of cotton in, you can just your juice all the way down and uh, and not have too much leaking. Uh, like with some other 304 stainless, um, I have had a little bit of, not tarnishing, but it looks like you kind of, you've rubbed it against something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is going to come through on camera and, and I don't know if we saw it in the up close I can't remember but uh, we do have a little bit of tarnishing going just kind of around oh just around this kind of level up here does that does that show can you see that can you see it happening can you can you can you but um yeah i mean that's i think that's just a characteristic of the steel more than anything else to be honest with you um that top o-ring on the airflow control does need lubricating you do need to get plenty of lube on that one because uh it is very very tight particularly when it when it's new um but like i say the bottom o-rings i've had no problems with whatsoever right vapey time Now, fully open with those three and a half mil uh, ID coils I've got in there, I have a restricted, um, a restricted air, a slightly restricted lung hitting airflow going on. And that's meaning that I'm getting bags of flavour coming up into my mouth. Um, I'm, it's the kind of draw that I really, really like. It really is. Now, I've said this before. I compare things quite a lot to the recoil. No. Yeah. No, re. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes the recoil <laughs> i called it a reload i think last time but uh, i compare things quite a lot to this because a lot of people do have them these days and this is obviously the clouds road clouds cap and it is a little bit more open than that but there is still that tight or slight kind of restriction does that make sense all in all, I think flavour on it is pretty darn good. I think the uh, I think the airflow on it is great for how I vape, um, and I think if you're looking for something that's a bit cloudy and most importantly is affordable, then this is certainly something that you can put on your consideration wish list. <laughs> this came through to me from Zap eSigs in the UK. I'll put the link down below. But uh, they are selling them at the moment for $29.99. It comes in both a black and silver version. Uh, and they both... Oh, no, hang on. The black one is sold out. So they've only got the, uh, the stainless version going on here. It does have a gold-plated deck as well. Now then, um, the... 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 the 
squonk pin comes across it looks to me as though it is uh, gold plated now i believe it's a stainless pin which it kind of has to be because stay because squonk pins obviously have got that whole board through the middle of them um and that means that uh, it would weaken them if it was a, a weaker metal such as copper for instance now then the uh, this one i believe is gold plated stainless steel so uh, we've got strength there and conductivity which is great um, but the regular one is brass gold plated. So uh, that's something just to be aware of. Um, but I've had no problems with them whatsoever. Now then, I think that's pretty much all I can tell you. I think it's a little cracker. I think it does a darn good job. <clears throat> Please don't ask me to say, is, you know, is this better than X or Y? Because at the moment we're looking at some really corking RDAs. So this is one of those things. If you want to spend 30 quid, you're not looking at spending a fuck ton of money and um, you're looking at something you, and you like the look of it. You like the you like the, the, the drip tip. You like the shape of it. You like the fact that it's 24 mil. Then, you know, go for it. What would I what would I say between this and the icon? It's very, very tough, to be honest with you. I think I prefer the airflow on this just a little bit better. Um, and the uh, and the deck is a little bit maybe easy. I don't have, oh, it's not easier. It's not easier to build on because you've got them screws you have to tighten. Um, oh, it's tough. It's really tough for very similar pricing. I think that uh, I think it's a very tough comparison. So if you are looking for something that has this kind of look going on, that uh, is pretty darn airy. Is that focused? Um, and uh, and it's got decent flavor as well. Plus, you may like to put some dirty great big builds in. Then this could be the bad boy for you. Having big old wide series builds and stuff, no problems whatsoever. Um, if you are using your kind of thinner, maybe I don't know six seven wraps of a thick wire, um, then you do you may want to pre build your legs out or pre bend your legs out, much like I did on this one. Now that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been informative. If you've liked this video, please click the like button. Hit that subscribe as well. And uh, I've got just a crap ton to show you coming up. There is a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been the Druga from um, Vape House and all. Yeah, Vape House and. It is va Vapes House and uh, Org Vape. And I will see you very, very soon. A bit larger. Well, hello, and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping. <coughs> hello there, and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today, we're going to be looking at a little. Uh...